40 last time? Yeah, but we didn't play the previous week. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that logic sounds good for you, but you do not have. Hey, I'm all about I'm all about calling it the way it is. We played until 9:15 your time. Oh, you're right. 9:15. 45 minutes extra is what I was thinking. We are not cutting 45 minutes short, though. Okay, well, let's do it. We are up and running. All right. Will? I think it's the card. That hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, sure welcome card to the yeah. session I don't. Uh, uh, following the before. adventures of the book killers. <laughs> travel I had one somewhere. Against the Horde of the Dragon Queen. Uh, you joined us last week. Our characters ventured to a, a small nondescript town where a large okay. castle had docked at a bridge. And we're well, supposed we're to go directly to the castle and stop for refreshments. So I can't find music. Um, let's you go. Can't go. Can't <laughs> Telling <laughs> may have led to uh, of uh, of uh, the dragon cult showing up along with a couple wyverns, and unfortunately, we also witnessed the uh, the death of a long standing member of the team, Dyson, uh, fell nobly in battle. Oh, I need to change my name. Okay, hi, buddy. Ouch. And uh, we are joined, jumping in immediately after uh, that last wyvern was slain. And now we're back. Okay. So. I'm going to get Coven. I was next. It was my turn next. I'm going to use my heal kit on Coven. Jason, did okay. you just put that thing up? Put what thing up? The oh, blank like map? Green? Yes, okay. I did. Okay. Is there supposed to be something on it? Or can actually can I? Okay, how do you heal? How do you stabilize somebody without a heal kit, Jason? You have to make a medicine check. What skill is that? Do I have medicine? I think it's DC fifteen. So the DC is medicine, eleven. My medicine is zero. Hmm, what kind of should I take this? Oh, well. Is this for COVID? Yes. What's COVID doing? Trying not to die. Well, my I went before him. If you remember, my my turn was before his turn. In the initiative order, wherever that. Coven is oh. stable. Oh, so okay. the, the, the last wyvern dies. Um, the remaining townsfolk who are around are just stunned. I mean, there's. You're pretty sure every cultist in the village, or at least any of them willing to fight, just came into that battle. So there's now six dead cultists on the ground, although several of them were wearing regular, like, guards uniforms. But you notice the telltale signs, you know. Some of them have, a, you know, the dragon tattoo on the inner arm. Some of them have the scabbard with the dragon. All of them have some kind of draconic fetish on their gear. I don't know if fetish is the right word. It is. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, the higher-ranking ones were actually dressed as, as cultists. Um, Onthar, um, not Onthar. What the hell was his name, guys? Which he just guy? killed Dicot. Oh, um, that's the uh, captain. Just son captain. of a bitch. Captain, I think his captain. name is Son of a Bitch. Captain, Captain. Yeah, I he was a captain. I think it was, it wasn't Onthar. Well, anyways, yeah. the captain, captain uh, two wyverns on either side of him were down. Uh, Othelston, that was his name. Captain Othelston lies dead. Uh, his lieutenant lies dead. His, his uh, sergeants, if you will, the dragon claws are dead. All the guards are dead. It's just carnage. You see a bunch of people looking out from the tavern, just like in complete shock. Um, you see from a that, that building to the north that looked like a rundown shrine. Here, matter of fact, let me give you guys the map of Parnest again. Thank you. Um, map of Parnest. There it is. Parnest Village map. Let me zoom out here. It's probably a little too close. <coughs> and Can I use a heal kit on COVID to be stable? Like to heal? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm uh, stable. So now we just wait for HPs. Yeah, have you heal, heal you? Yet. 
Have you used the healing kit to heal him? No, I never got. I, no, I have not. My short rest. I have not. Then yes, you may. <laughs> oh, wait, Jason, real quick. Sorry to uh, be off topic That's a little fine. bit. Um, sure. My key is not on my sheet anymore. What? You used it all. Oh, that's because you are currently in combat mode. So when you're in combat mode, it only shows you what you have available. When, when you guys get a short rest, it'll appear again. I want to use a superior. Oh, okay, cool. I want to use a, See, if I, I put it in standard, it shows them all checked off. Oh yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. I think so, I can use a, a superiority good. dice with this heal. Is that right or no? No. Or I thought I could use superior dice like with different. Oh wait, I've done you, Nick. Not with not with heels, no. Why did you mute me? Uh, I was trying to listen to Will and I couldn't. Your mic is loud, his yeah. is soft. Oh, because yeah, I'm sorry, you. because my Yeah, no you. I got you. Don't apologize. Kids are important. <laughs> All right. He was, it's I, muted you too. I muted you because I don't like you. I just don't <laughs> like the sound of your voice. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So um to the north, uh this building here, which looks like Almost like an old church, except it doesn't have like the typical steeple and a symbol of a of a god. Um, you notice, uh, or I'm sorry, no, that's the stables. Sorry, I just got a little crooked. I'm sorry. Wait, Jason, this, I interrupt you a little bit. Uh, yeah. There is something I need to know. Um, do I see in the people looking around the bartender who ran off to get the cultist? Uh, you do not see the bartender. Who ran off to get the cultist? Oh, that man's gonna die. He was doing his civic duty. How f how far is the castle right now? Can we still see it? Is it uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just taken off. You'd say it's moving away at probably, um, you know, uh, it it'll still be visible for a long time. It's got so, a weird fog around it. And as it gets rises up, you see it's actually it looks like a giant iceberg with a castle on it. Could like they a, reach an iceberg has been flipped upside down with a castle on it. Okay. Do what Nick? Could they reach you with their cape? Uh those who could who the winged guys, um yeah. I'm going to assume you guys have done a test flight and yeah, yeah, you could catch it. It's not moving away fast enough for you to not be able to catch it. At least not yet it isn't. <clears throat> what about like flying up there tying some ropes to it? <laughs> <laughs> back now. You need a pretty okay. long ass rope. Uh, oh, currently, so anyway. it's probably um, I don't know, five, six hundred feet away. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Guys, should I go it's get on it? No, I probably stick together. Yeah, uh, I don't think you should either. I mean, I want to, but uh, so um, this building right here to your west. Uh, you notice there's a set of crossed axes, like wood cutting axes, above the door. And you see a guy like leaning, looking out from there, and he's gawking too. Like everybody, there's, there's those people, and one guy actually starts clapping. The guy at that shrine, <laughs> and then like more and more people start coming out of the houses around, and they start clapping and cheering. Okay. All right. Hell yeah. Um, I would assume Coven is conscious. Maybe now that I've got some HPs back. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Start mourning Dicot and scream out and comment and ask for a priest. <laughs> like, is it clear I can't do anything? Like, to my character, like, you know, I mean, like, when he tries CPR, it's, it's like, is it like, like his rib cage is like burst open? It's very obvious. Oh, I can't do it. Well, no, short sword is currently in his heart. Yeah. He's clear. So he he's dead, dead. Short okay. sword through his breastplate into his heart. He is okay. So he's dead, dead. dead. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, um, I mean, I'm not saying you can't try CBR. I mean, you're more than welcome to. No, that's okay. <laughs> you know, heart. Oh, what about a cleric to resin? Is that not a thing? Sure. Uh, it is absolutely a thing. However, um, clerics of sufficient level to do that are not particularly common. Gotcha. And uh, it's probably very slim chance that there's one in this in this okay. town. Yeah, I, I just want to see. Pro I want to seek proper burial for Dicot. That's yeah, my true. main thing. But I'll try to find a cleric while we do that. Just because, why not, you know? Sure, sure, absolutely. Okay, uh, Brim is going to try and find a cleric. Uh, everybody else, what are we doing? I got what I got. What uh, Coven's doing? I'm going to ask Eagle Eye to uh, keep an eye on the uh, on the uh, floating castle. And okay. when I ask him to do that, 
due to the fact that he is an archer, I'm going to assume that he's got a very good uh, ability to gauge distance and how far his quarry is moving away from him. And so I'm going to try to use that as an, uh, if he can give me that information to try to extrapolate uh, how fast this thing is moving, if it's gaining speed, um, how long it's going to be there. Give me an intellect check. Can I use nice investigation? That was wisdom. What? Sure. <laughs> yeah, investigation, absolutely. It would have been nice if this was a wisdom check. It would have been really nice if this was a wisdom check. Yeah. What about insight? Because I'm trying to get insight. At, no, that wouldn't. <laughs> no. Reaching, reaching. This is, uh, okay, you feel that the castle made of ice is very cold and unyielding. <laughs> you don't even have to roll for that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, an hour. Between the two of you, you figure you've got about an hour before it's going to be so far away that you'll lose you'll lose sight of it. Um, um, Jaeger does feel that he's going to need to watch it uh, because as it's getting farther away, the cloud around it is actually almost starting to make it look like just a floating cloud. It's got a just a perpetual fog around it. Um. There's tons of people running out. Um, there's no cleric in the, in the village, not even a, a healer. Okay. Um, the people are mourning. You notice the tavern's emptied out. Um, out of the tavern, uh, or I'm sorry, not out of the tavern, out of the, uh, the, the building to the east right here. Darn it. Let me get you an arrow there. Right there, you see uh, several villagers. Uh, there's a woman, two bigger guys. They look like maybe uh, they're either farmers or woodsmen are dragging a guy out who's obviously a cultist and they've beaten him to a pulp. Nice. And they drag him out to you and throw him on the ground. It I is the bartender. Brian. Oh, it's bartender. Okay. I love his Brian. <laughs> uh, they're calling him a traitor. They're spitting on him. Um, I'm going to ask him to back away. They're, they're, they are turning him over to you. I said make him dig dig back at's grave. Is What'd he you say, Jonathan? Is he conscious? He's conscious. He looks terrified. Because he went to go get the captain and you guys killed basically every cultist in the town. You can tell though, I just <clears throat> the short version is is these people are running out. I mean, they're telling you they've been oppressed. The cult's been here for a year. Um and Half the town it, it turned traitor, and the other half is too scared to do anything. Uh, I think asking him where the castle's going. <laughs> uh, he says he doesn't know. He says he has no idea where the castle's going. I'm it leaves chop off his leg and cauterize every him single breath and ask him where the castle's going. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, that's wait awesome. I'm going to stop him from doing that. <laughs> I want to shoot an arrow through his ear. <laughs> I'm trying to gauge whether or not he's telling the truth about his lack of knowledge. Uh, yeah. He seems like an ignorant country bumpkin who uh, <laughs> had a tavern and was getting probably a lot of business from the cult. And it was easier to let them go than it was to, to, to just go along with it than try and fight back. I mean, obviously, the cult seriously outstrips any capabilities they have. Right. He says, it's not too late. You could catch him with the wiver. And then he kind of stops as he sees the two big dead wyverns on the ground. They use the wyverns to catch start, the castle. I'm going to start preparing die cut for burial. Okay. One of the... Uh, the guy who came out of the... Uh, out of the, the place with the double axe is over it. Which... Uh, JJ, you would recognize it as a shrine. It's a shrine to uh, uh, Avandra uh, and Paylor, the Lord of the Harvest. Um, he comes out, introduces himself as uh, Gundolin. Uh, he's a wheelwright, fixes wagon wheels, and uh, says he wishes he'd, he'd known you were that he wishes he caught you coming in. Uh, maybe things could have been different. He's really sorry. And your heroes for saving them. Uh, they've they've 
he's been trying to get someone to fight back against the cult for a year now. And he'll do anything he can to help you. Um, I'd ask, I'm going to ask the uh, the bartender um, how many people are on the are in the castle. Uh, he's never uh, he's never been. Oh, the, and the bartender. I'm sorry. The bartender says he's he's never been in the castle. All he knows is that uh, they bring just wagon load after wagon load of crates into the castle. And then it takes off and it flies east, and then they never see him again. And then the castle, I mean, it leaves, and then the castle comes back, and then they load more carts on it and more carts on it, and they've been doing it for almost a year now. Did they leave in a hurry anticipating a fight, or do, are they leaving to make their normal routine? When I told the captain you were here, the, okay, he's much more scared, but he's like, I, I told the captain that, there was trouble here, and as soon as he heard about that one, and he points at Coben, he said he told the castle to leave, and he would hold them off. So the castle left because of you. The castle normally doesn't leave until the next morning. Oh, uh, gotcha. Good job, Coben. So I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna take like, all the weapons of, of die cut slain foes and pile it at his feet. And then I'm going to take any useful equipment off die cut, like, you know, check, check his bag and stuff, but leave him with his armor, or weapon, and shield. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Coven had a magic ring. I'm sorry, die cut had a magic ring, did he not? Yeah. He did. Ring of x ray vision. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll take that. <clears throat> Just put it in the pouch of holding for the time being. Unless someone wants to wear it. I'll You're wear, not going to wear it? it? I'd wear it. Better than put it in a bag. <coughs> ring. Uh, let's see. Ring. What Wait, it actually, I would offer it to Colvin first. Because uh, uh, they were friends. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, Colvin wouldn't want the X-ray vision ring. He would want the Order of the Gauntlet ring, though. Okay. I actually, mean, I, I would ask him if I could wear that. Mm. Yeah, he'd let you. Okay. Are you a member? Right, of the I have added the Ring of X-ray vision to your sheet. So and I'm gonna gonna look at Coven and I'm gonna be like, can I join? I don't know. You'll have to look it up. I don't. I don't okay. remember it. it. It lets you see through shit, but not lead. I know that. It lets you see through shit, not lead. You can only use it once um, for a long rest, or you suffer it, level of exhaustion. It doesn't have a description for me. Yeah, I know. That's because I just typed "ring of extra vision" and <laughs> dropped it on your shit. No, it says but I am not. It says I am not identified. Oh, sorry. Let me identify it. It just says "ring," right? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, is Coven saying, Will? Um, I think you would say yeah. Like you've definitely been through thick and thin, so yeah, you can you can be in my club for a while, at least until we get good die cut back. Okay, so the question is now, um, what are we going to do? Do we want to proceed to the castle, um, and uh, risk a, another fight that we will lose if we get into? No. Or do we want to possibly go back to the other place and uh, cause a ruckus over there? I say we see the die cut's funeral. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think that catching the castle is a good idea. I think there's got to be a way that we can, like, lure out some cultists somewhere and find out where it's going and get there. We know where three are. You got a point. I have to spend the night here, though. Spend the night, do a uh, funeral, leave in the morning. Uh, now, wait a second. Now, I, uh, Torm, he was a, a, a paladin of Torm, right? No, he's a water paladin, I thought. <laughs> Is that right? He, was not, he did not have a specific deity. He was a paladin of vengeance. Wait, uh, he, he, was, was, he had a holy symbol on his sword. The holy symbol was of a holy deity. The holy symbol was of uh, Helm. Or, no, it was Torm. I'm sorry, yeah. Okay. He had the symbol of Torm, but that's because that was his... That was his mentor symbol. He he paid. He did not worship any particular deity. He, he the, I mean the gods of justice, but that's it. But he didn't have any specific Batman. tie to them. Uh, a lot of paladins don't worship a, an actual deity. They gain their power. It's divinely granted, but it's just through their strength of conviction. And so he did not particularly like worship Torm or Helm or the Trinity of the three gods of justice, but his master did. And that's why he carried that symbol in his honor. Okay. Um, 
all of a sudden, a cyclone of wind just sweeps through you guys. Just massive. I need everyone to make a dexterity check. Ooh. Saving throw or just a check? Saving throw. I'm sorry. Dexterity saving throw. Nailed it. Are you fucking kidding me? Not I you, Brian. It. Not you. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Good. It was a DC 15. So uh, Jaeger is thrown to the ground. Uh, no damage or anything, but uh, Jaeger's thrown down. The rest of you are staggered back a step. Um, the Even cycle me? right in the. What? You Even roll. me? <laughs> yes. Formation, bitch. <laughs> Didn't you get a 15? I don't know. Where's Adrian's? Yeah, oh, you got a 26. <laughs> Shit. He's taking more. Um, the, the cyclone spins tighter and tighter and dust starts to rise and suddenly there's a spark of light in the center of the cyclone and then it flashes out with just a boom and as the light subsides, there's a mage standing there. A I'm guy gonna attack crazy, him. Yeah, me too. crazy old guy in a robe and he's writhed in flames. <clears throat> That's who killed him now. No. <laughs> and he see, have any, like kind of, uh, any kind of dragon symbols on him? Yeah. Like the cult or dragon cult. No, he looks a lot like that picture up there by Brian. <laughs> um, Dude, except, it's more than my thumbnail. I can't exactly see it. Okay, I linked a picture of it. We should yeah. look at the chat. Hang on, I'll link the chat here real quick. Hang on. Yeah, where did you? Oh, I, I can't. Can you look at the chat? I need to sign him still. So. No, no, here, I, I can, I can re-link that. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. I'm even going to take and grab this and save it <laughs> to the campaign folder. So he looks like he's batshit crazy is what you're telling me. He does look yeah, happy. Except, yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Shut up. Looks like a pedophile. He looks like that, except uh, campaigns, tyranny of dragon, images, oh. save. Close. We're even going to put this up here so the stream can see it. Yeah. Uh, They're all images. Who this guy is. You could just look at chat. There. There he is. It says loading. Got it. Okay. Give it doesn't. It's done. Okay, he looks like that, except his hands, face, hair, everything that is not his robe has fire swirling off of it. Uh -huh. He turns, sees all of you, and you see a glint of recognition in his eyes, and then he turns and sees the castle, and he goes, No! I'm too late! <laughs> okay, Brian, you can take over. No, the fire subsides. Too late. <laughs> John, Brian, like you were doing so well. Continue. <laughs> Who are you? Did I make it in time? No. You're too Where's Nycott right now? On the ground. Oh, he's on the ground. Dead. He's Just behind right them. them. He's I behind them. Him, I mean, they'd have to move for you to notice it. Oh, Especially you. You're not that observant. Where's Brian? I don't even see him. I haven't put him on the map. Oh, so he's he's probably close to that well thing then. Is that where he is? Assuming yes. Okay. Are yeah, the about there. stuff cleaned okay. up? Like, can I tell there's been a fight here or not? Oh yeah, no, it's obvious. You arrived a minute or two, maybe five minutes after the battle. It's over, but you can see there's dead wyverns <clears throat> everywhere. I missed it. I always miss it. Is um, Dicot? Down. Who are you, and how do you know Daikon? <laughs> oh, Hadrian. We. Oh, right. Well, you. I never make it in time. <laughs> what? Uh, Don't worry, uh, bro. Don't worry. Oh well, I'm um, I'm Z Zoltan. <laughs> no. Zoltan. <laughs> No. Well, that's not important. What's important is the captain's here, and let me tell you a secret. Now, if we get a banner, there's a secret passcode, and that castle over there, we can get on. All we need to do is say, hail. I had it on the tip of my tongue, but that oh, castle, oh, oh. <laughs> wait. Nice, nice. Um... Well, now I'm confused because that shouldn't have left. What did you do? 
You don't uh, quite understand. I'm asking you questions. <laughs> who are you? And what are you doing here? And how do you know who we are? Oh, well, uh, who I am, I'm, um, it's not Zoltan. Is it okay, Parnas? I'm going to turn around and ignore this crackpot at this point. No, 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 I'm you don't understand. Coven, remember in Greenest when you killed that dragon? Yeah, I You're remember Coven, dragon. the dragon killer. See, yeah, we he are here to stop Tiamat. Um, going Coven's going to gonna, Coven's gonna roll it in. I see how I feel about this guy. Did we lose Josh? No. I don't know. Oh, I lost your picture, buddy. Did you miss me? Yeah, I do. Well, if the castle's gone, what we need to do is we'll wait until the morning. And then we can find it. How do you know we can find the castle in the morning? Well, the same reason I knew you'd be here. I can just, I roll an insight check? I know. This guy is talking out his ass. He seems genuinely to believe what he's saying. All right. Well, hey, he knew about us killing the dragon. He, he's just a, he just needs a little bit of help, I think. See, listen to Coven, the dragon killer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we need to lick our wounds anyway. Yeah. Um, God dang it. Ignore that. <laughs> okay, Nobody I saw that. Nobody saw that. GM yeah, didn't say that. <laughs> hey, um, let's see here. I, uh, yeah, I think he's a wizard, Jason. Um, I just am trying to decide whether or not. No, I was using a class ability to learn stuff about him. I oh. meant to whisper that just to Nick. <laughs> you fucked that one up, Shay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I'm not used to doing tells on here. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to go to the bartender and see if he has any next of kin. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, sleeping. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back to taking care of die cupping because I'm it's all above my head. I'm not that bright. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask this uh, weird guy if he has any idea when they're coming back tomorrow. Do we have time to lick our wounds? And and can you explain to me how you know? I, I know these things, Adrian. You need to listen to me. Otherwise, your wife and two children will suffer the same fate. My sword is out, world. and I've got it an inch from his face. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I want to try to talk Hadrian down, and that, I mean, this guy is obviously magic, and magic can do strange things. He knew stuff about about me. He knew stuff about you. He knew stuff about the castle. He knew stuff about where we are. He, he knew stuff, and magic tells him stuff. <laughs> I knew who Brim was. Uh, what do you know about Brim? I want to hear what about Brim. <laughs> I'm going to sheath the sword. <clears throat> That's what she said. <laughs> Hadrian, I see... Stop. Stop. I'm going to go add to the bartender and ask him if he's got any next of kin. Somebody's tapping away furiously. You're going to ask him what? If he has any next of kin. And they're going to come after us if we kill him? <laughs> if the bartender has next of kin? Yeah. He's going to kill him. <clears throat> no. Uh, Adrian's not an outright murderer. It's not murder if it's justice. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, the three guys, the two big guys that came out of the place. Um, I'm going to ask them if they have any weapons. More or less, Jason, um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to organize a militia to protect them against the future people that are coming from the uh, from the uh, the place that we just were. The lodge. Yes. 
Okay, uh, they could form a small militia, not enough to really fight anything off, but you also just unseated the cult from Parnast. Well, temporarily. Unless the castle comes back. Yeah. Uh, or if Talos the White comes here and starts shit. Well, we need to rest, so I'm going to try to... I mean, is there any... There's no medicine people, medics, anything like that here, right? Correct. There's nobody that can do any supernatural healing, no. Uh, ask if maybe they have any... Uh, where was the cult staying? The captain's quarters? Uh, the captain's quarters were in the... Be the two buildings just south of the tavern. Uh, these two buildings here. All right, I want to go through those buildings. Whoops. Those. Right. Hey, that's a perhaps good idea. you should search their bodies first. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, while he's doing that, I think I will check Captain Captain's body. Yeah, let's check all the bodies. He, yeah, he might have Maybe. something pretty or shiny or magical. Okay, uh, Captain Captain body uh the long sword he had i'm sorry not long sword. the flail that he had is uh definitely magical oh i wish i used flails what is a flail again like what stats it's a mace kind of a, a flail is a mace with a chain i mean it's, i know back it was like 1d6 1d8 i think it's 1d6 lame but it's magic though you don't know what to do <laughs> Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Flail is one d eight bludgeoning. Oh. What's what's it, so we can how do we identify it? <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it in my in my belt. <laughs> okay. I use that. I use that. Not even knowing what it is, I use it. <laughs> is it one handed or two handed? Oh, it's, it's one, one handed. handed. That's right. Yeah, I don't want it if it's one handed. I use it. Yeah, I mean, Brim's the only one that can use it, so let's give it to Brim to use. Okay. Am I right that Brim's the only one that can use it? Uh, I do believe so. I mean, Jaeger could use it, but he wouldn't be as effective as he is with a bow. Yeah. So how do we identify it, though? Is there, is there a set We ask our new rules? magic guy. Just a short rest, or, okay. yeah, a magic guy could identify it. If only we had a magic guy in the party. <laughs> yeah, I think um, hey, Brad, after checking out his body, I don't really care. I just want to find rest. I know Hadrian's going to do an investigation. Are we going to um, leave together in the morning? I think that's the plan. Uh, see to Dicot's yeah. funeral rites. Take a leave. long rest. Yeah, take a long rest. The concern is how do we know it's going to be back in the morning? Hey, uh, the, uh, the whack job wizard. We go well, to the, is, that's not we, very nice, Hadrian. We go way back. We, we go way guard. in the future. Let's just poke a oh guard. <laughs> At this we'll point, post. we have no real choice but to trust him. So let's just uh, lick our wounds. Um, I'll do some <clears throat> investigating. Is anyone well, going to help me? Uh, I will help you investigate. We don't have to trust him. No, no, you need to rest. Him. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. Uh, post a guard. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Brim, how how healthy are you? Brim, the flails on your sheet, it's all right. also in your actions. You know, I'm, I'm okay. You get plus seven to hit with it, and it's eight plus four damage. I'm a little hurt, but I'm not too bad. Okay, well, let's. I'm going to have these guys set up watch, these uh, the two barbarians or the two big guys. I'm going to have them uh, try to get together a group of people and have watch if the castle comes back. Or if uh, anyone comes from, you know, I'll point that direction, they need to wake us up. And then after I go investigate, I'm going to go to the uh, the uh, bartender's inn, and I'm going to uh, take a rest. Thanks. Okay. Everybody else? What the citizens do with the bartender is up to them. <laughs> I'd like to get some recon on the castle. <laughs> Okay, oh. like I said, in an hour it'll be it'll be gone. Well, I don't um, want to be gone more than thirty minutes. <laughs> oh, you mean you want to? Okay, I got it. Right. Um, as you are not accustomed to flying, you will have a disadvantage on your stealth check to try and get close without being spotted. You're not exactly used to hiding among clouds and shit. Fair enough. 
Go ahead. Uh, you guys see Jaeger utter a command word, and his cloak bellows into a pair of dragon wings, and he takes off. I'm going to holler at him to be careful. Okay. Um, you actually do pretty good. Um, you don't think you're spotted. Here's the things you could tell about the castle before you thought, okay, it's about 30 minutes. I better head back before I lose the ability to fly. Um, <laughs> there are, first off, it's a, the main section is like a huge iceberg. Okay. And there is a lower level that extends out away from it and has two towers and a main gate at the entrance. And that would be what was sitting next to the town when it was recessed into the big crater. Um, you can see what might be a stables was past the gate, the, the tower, uh, and a couple other buildings. And then there's an upper level that's probably 50, maybe 100 feet above the, the main level that has a, a four different towers coming up out of it, as well as a much larger tower in the back. Um, some of them are in different states of repair. Um, the whole thing looks like it's made of ice, but almost like, uh, like it doesn't look like it's glistening, like it's not melting or anything. It just looks like ice, um, but it's obviously strong enough to build a castle out of it. It's diamonds. Um, you go get it. You do notice um, on the two front <laughs> towers uh, that are on the lower level and the bigger tower that's in the very back, uh, you see what looks like ogres. Uh, manning very large ballista. You manage to evade them so they don't spot you, but um, it definitely looks like there are ogres guarding it. At the it's good to know at the walls. Um, and I'm assuming that's flanking the ogres, main gate. You do see ogres walking around the courtyard from time to time. The little bit you're there, um, you also would swear you saw something larger. Some kind of giant. Is there cultists, or does it just seem to be man you by do them? See, uh, you do see some cultists on the lower level. Cult. Anybody of note? Um, no. Okay. No. Uh, you can tell they're cultists, but that's about it. It doesn't seem like there's actually a lot of activity. You just see uh, there's a group of ogres patrolling the, the lower courtyard. Um. As you're about to leave, you do notice one unusual thing. As you're getting ready to leave, you have to like flit around the underside of the castle to hide because you see some winged shape flying towards the castle. Um, you wait for a bit, and you see what looks like a pair of wyverns that are coming from the west, um, southwest, so kind of the opposite direction you came from. Uh, and fly up and land on the upper courtyard. Okay. And about then, you need to get going, or you either need to leave, or you need to find a spot to stop and rest for 1D 12 hours. Uh, I'll return. Okay. And then I guess we'll go... Seven hours. Yeah, it's a full rest. All, All right. So, um, if there's nothing else, you guys will actually rest through the evening with, or rest through the morning without any, without any issues. The town folk are actually looking after you, or watching out for you. Hey, did I find anything in the captain's house? I'm gonna long rest, you guys. All right. Did you find? Uh, you found um, some treasure. Uh, you guys, uh, in assorted coins and gems. Uh, roughly 600 gold pieces worth. Um, there's also equipment in pretty good repair. Pretty much any, uh, there's a, a suit of plate mail, chain, leather. There's spears, crossbows, arrows, bolts. Pretty much any type of mundane weapon. They have a pretty good armory. I'm going to refill my ammo on my short bow. Okay. Um, but nothing magical or anything else. Uh, outside of the flail that was found, no, it doesn't did appear. I, so. Did I learn anything about the flail during this time? It's a plus one magic flail. Um, okay. 
It does. Uh, you'll have a plus seven to hit with it, and you'll do D eight plus four when you hit with it. It's also yeah. magic damage. Okay. And then uh, I'm assuming four long rest. We, we you know buried Dicot. Yes. Um, do you want to bury him? Funeral pyre. What's the plan? Funeral pyre. And hey, hey, hey! I don't have the um, hit points anymore. You know, is, there, is there like a oh, large yeah. body of water around? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we, yeah. We shouldn't do you a guys, fire. Let's, we no, should, like, no, he needs to burn. Well, put on a boat that's wow. on fire, push into the water. Let, let it burn no, like a no, boat no, no. in the he, water. He resisted fire in life. I don't think we should burn him. I don't think he'd want that. I mean, he loved the water so much. I think we a, should. What about my Viking burning boats? Uh, we don't need to burn it though. Just sink it. Is Ryan I'm, muted? Anyone else? Yeah, we had already. I think he said Brian. We haven't heard him talk this entire time. Well, we've heard Bader him a little. Bader funeral. There we go. What? What is it? Bader funeral. Funeral pyre. Yeah, funeral pyre. Right. That's what he wants. Bader funeral. Though. On a All boat. Right. All right. Can't argue right. with the, the ghost I just heard. So yeah, funeral pyre. <laughs> okay. As you uh, as you load, are we doing the boat on a stream? That's epic. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he always um, wanted to be with all the paladin. weapons of his all weapons of all the foes that died here, except for the flail. Okay. Sorry, except <laughs> for the flail. Uh, you load That's up the boat, away. and as you push the boat out, uh, Jaeger, you want to take the shot? Yeah, I'll take a shot. Oh, don't don't miss. Okay, he hits the boat. <laughs> Don't have a Game of Thrones moment. <laughs> uh, he hits the boat. It starts to burn pretty quickly. And as the fire just starts to con lick up around his armor and you can see the, the, it's gleaming off of his plate, there's just a boom as a beam of light shoots down out of the sky and envelops the boat. It, it goes so bright, you... you cannot see it's impossible to not look away and when you look back the boat is gone the flame is gone there's nothing there that works That's awesome. and then the, and there's just it's a hole so in the clouds that just closes up slowly <laughs> I, never got, I never got death that cool That's That's better than mine i'm gonna tear up a little bit and go he was such a good water paladin. <laughs> nice. By All the right. way, Brian, your inner dialogue will be coming from me once in a while. Yeah, Just I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, let's All do right. it. Let's what? do it. Yeah, let's tell us. <laughs> Get so it's, it's morning now, right? We took a long rest. Yep, long rest. We're all stocked up. I got most of my hit dices back. Maybe all of my hit dice. Yeah, I got, my, I got all my back, like all my hit points still too. Hell yeah. Yeah, I really didn't need a rest, but okay. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know who didn't need a long rest? Die cut. Oh. Oh. Die cut's getting the longest rest. <laughs> Too soon? I just accidentally cast hold of the body on myself. Jason, can you get rid of that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's not actually on you. You just unchecked it. Oh, did that tower come did that castle come back or no? Well, yeah, it, it says I just cast it. I know it's because you checked it off. How do I, just have how to do I and, open it? Go to, it? You just go to standard and uncheck it. Oh, the little, uh, the little dragon head. Oh, okay. Oh shit! What? I don't remember how many spells I can memorize. Oh. Eleven. Oh, so he thinks. Glad I got that mm -hmm. out of the way. Do I just check him to make him active, or how does that work? Oh, Brian, do oh, me a God. favor. Roll two 20s. Sorry. All right. These are not in the tower. Dragged. Yeah! Oh! oh. <laughs> what does that mean? What's a 20 Don't worry. Don't, don't tell him, Brian. Oh, hey, oh. I'm liking these. Those That's are both nice. Good. It means I'm Be a sure divination wizard those. is what it means. Be hey, sure to record those. Yeah. My uh, wholeness of body needs to change from 18 to 21, and I don't know how to do that. Oh, you click the little thing, and where it says bonus healing, change it to 21. Done. Oh. Okay, cool. Thanks. You click the little, oh, right, I, you click the little magnifying glass. <clears throat> yep, I got it. And for the heal effect, you click it again, and then you can modify it. Cool. 
Thank you. All right. Um, is that? No. Is it portent? Yeah, that's what it is. Portent. Oh, oh, okay. I'll put it there. Oh, my God, Brian. Did you read that? What? Portent. Read it. Just to make sure you're clear how awesome that's going to be. Oh, no, no. I said I wanted to play a divination wizard. I know, but I mean, that's going to be... Did you see what you can affect? Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Whatever it is, okay. I'm excited. So is yeah. the castle back? <laughs> you rise in the morning. Um, there's no castle. Okay. Um, the Zoltan... Was that what he went with? Totally not Zoltan. No, no, it was. Zoltan's I realized good. it wasn't Zoltan. Zoltan's great. <laughs> okay. Does he Do you know, know what that's from, is? Jason? Big. Yes. Big. <laughs> Come on, that was great. Do it. Do it. I like Zoltan. Do it. It's not Zoltan. Zoltan Until he remembers what his name is, the rest of the party is calling him Zoltan. That works. No, no, it's not Zoltan, guys. It's, um, wait, one second. I actually do know. It's <laughs> Beldak. Beldak. I like Zoltan better. Yeah, it's Beldak. I like Zoltan better. Cool, I like it. Beldak. So well, thanks, that's what my parents picked for me. So Beldak is still here. asleep. Okay, let's leave him. I'm gonna ask <laughs> Beldak uh, what's going on with the castle not being back. He's not. He's not up. Oh, I'm gonna wake him up. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go into the the room in the end that he was in, and when you knock, he doesn't answer. So you open the door. And he's sitting in a chair, staring at you, wide-eyed, unblinking. <laughs> snoring. Oh, snoring? I don't but it's really that. creepy because his eyes are moving. Oh. Like, he, like, looks, not at you, like, he's, he's looking around and stuff, but he's snoring. Oh, well, he must be having a bad, he's probably having a bad dream. Just clap your hands. I'm going to shake him and wake him up. Shake him, baby. <laughs> okay. He snaps out of it and goes, when are we? God, uh, it's the morning. Uh, one day. Brian, give me an intelligence check. <laughs> to see if he knows what morning is. <laughs> no, you, which, is this a tower? Yes. Tower end. Oh. <laughs> Look at Jason's face. <laughs> 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 oh, what's that? So, oh, whoa, we can't go today. We need to wait. No, nah, I think we just go back to that, that inn with Lady, you know. Kill her. No, no, we don't want to go there. Trust me. It'll help Dicot. Don't even Dicot's dead. How's it gonna help him? No, not yet. <laughs> this guy's a loon. Let's go. Uh, he is crazy, but he knows things. Like I I'm torn. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think we should go. Coven, trust me. To help Dicot, we can't go today. When but Dicot's we... dead. No, that happens later. No, that happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when are we? <laughs> the day that Dicot died. The castle left the first time. God damn it. I got to start dragging this. <laughs> here. <laughs> no, no, check this out. Uh, so that's impossible, guys. If Dicot was Bye. dead... The castle is nah, from the southeast. <laughs> it all went blank. <laughs> I feel like I just forgot the things. So, you're saying they're, the castle's... That's a long way to go, though. The castle might not be there when we get there. Well, it's a flying castle. That's not helpful at all. It can move. Uh-huh. You said the castle was going to be here. We trusted you. Were you incorrect? Well, <laughs> Baldak tends to 
seem like he's trying to remember something all the time. Every time he speaks, it seems like he's trying to sort out his thoughts. <laughs> okay, note to self. Actually, I'm going to say this out loud. We need to stop listening to him. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, but but you guys no, 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 used no, no, elementals no, no, no. to reach it. Use elementals, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what's the plan? Let's. Uh, are we going to go back up to the uh, to the house and work on that? What do you mean to use elementals to get to the tower? What does that mean? Well, I've got these scrolls and things. Maybe it's one of those. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm going to let this crack ass cast a spell on me. I'll You're do it. Mine. I'll do it. For science. <laughs> <laughs> and if I die, I'll come back. You'll have a Ganassi or whatever next week. It so uh, I like look all through right. all my scroll cases, guys. I say we go to the uh, and I'm looking back to the and back to the three, and Where? then I'm like, oh wait, no, it's this one right here. Scroll of summon elemental. See, let's go with it. So how does this help us? Yeah. Well, we use the elementals to go to the castle. Well, can they fly? Why didn't you tell us this yesterday? Well. I don't remember that. Oh God! But don't okay, worry, so. they're air, air elementals. They'll fly us right there. They can, like, you know, air whoosh. Uh, right. I, well, I can. It. Have I you can ever fl flown? It's on my bucket list. Yes, I have. Uh, <laughs> if, if he can bring an elemental in, I'm down. I mean, I'm out of options. Yeah. Why don't we go back to the uh, to the uh, what you call it and beat the shit out of what's her fuck and get find out where we're going versus trusting a crackpot that's done nothing but give us incorrect information. Because we've already committed to our course of action. Tomorrow, I'm sorry. <laughs> we've already committed to our course of action. Why go backwards when we should go forwards? That makes sense. It does. It's we've committed. painful to go back. Going forward, that's the answer. Oh man, I like this guy. <laughs> Silly. Let's let's summon the, let's let's use the scrolls. See what happens outside. We should use the scrolls. If it doesn't work, then we'll go back. If, it, if you know something good, ha if we get four or however more we need, we'll do it. That's a great idea, Brim. I think I have a scroll for elementals. Oh. Yeah, you just you just found it. We we know you do. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do that. All right, yeah. If if let's I cross slide. Uh, Hadrian, if it if he doesn't summon an elemental on the first shot, hey, I'm going to use, uh, uh, back to the use an intellectual chasing. I, I can summon five <laughs> elementals, guys. It'll take us to the castle in a mist. I want to use an intellect roll to see if I know if we, if we can actually fly on an elemental or not. Here we go. Sure, make an intellect check, Arcana. Oh, not Arcana. Um, I did it. God Sorry. damn it. Okay. In your many varied travels, uh, you actually have seen a wizard travel by elemental. You know me better than that. I don't blow myself no, dude, my guys, That reminds me. I actually I actually saw this happen one time in a, in a fight. Like the wizard just ran away with it or flew away on elemental. I saw it. This, this could actually work. Well, it, show me some elementals, or we start yeah. moving to the cat, the lodge. Sweet, I'm gonna summon those bad boys. Let's do this. Okay, what's his name again? Burdak. Beldak. Oh, I'm sorry. Beldak. Beldak. Okay. I'll fix Beldak. That. Actually, as he start, he, he unrolls the scroll. As he starts to read, he actually suddenly gets a very like you can see his face shifts into complete focus and concentration. And competency, <laughs> and he 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 utters the words and motions, and all of a sudden, five jettying currents of air start to swirl around, and the air like like is spinning, and you can see objects in it and a little bit of dirt, and there's like five little cyclones hovering next to him, and you hear it's like a whisper on the wind. What is thy bidding, master? Hell well, today yeah. is the day to go to the flying castle. I'm gonna look over at Brim and wink. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount the air level like I saw it one time. Um, Let's do this, guys. I'm ready. 
<laughs> right, like I, think, uh, I think Coven would also be laughing like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and <laughs> just hop on. I mean, yeah. I'm all right. How do you? Oh how do yeah, you, you should see it when Coven flies. It's incredible. Who keeps making unnamed characters. Uh, I, I that's apparently me. I was trying to read the uh, Beldax backstory. Oh, I don't think you can read his sheet. <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All these characters. Are we gonna get a character sheet for each elemental? <laughs> no. No, Let's name not. them. I'm gonna call mine Airy. Fred. <laughs> you want to trade? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's head that way then. Uh, <laughs> Beldak commands the elementals to take him to the castle. Uh, everyone. Um, yeah, they all five of them, unless you resist, an elemental swoops up to each one of you and just picks you up on a current of air, and you very rapidly start to hurtle to the southeast. Is, is anyone um, resisting? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I'm the king of the world. <laughs> so within um, probably 30 minutes, you see the castle on the horizon. Um, you're much higher than the castle, so the, the weird mist that surrounds it doesn't mask it nearly as well. Um, you just hurtle towards the castle. As you start getting closer... Um, Brian, you you hear the whisper. It's kind of hard for the rest of you to even understand it, but Brian, you you hear the whisper. Where would you like me to set you down? I want to unfurl the banner as we approach. <laughs> Where do you guys want to land? Can I do that, Jason? Can I unfurl the banner as we're flying? I think we should land. In that works yeah. for me. Uh, I'm probably inside the gate. Like we don't want to land outside the gate. But yeah, definitely inside. All right, let's land inside the gate. Should we land where the wyverns landed? God motherfucking damn it. Whatever. I don't care. Read it. Last time, guys, we entered through a tunnel underneath. <laughs> okay. Let's try the tunnel. Let's try that. <laughs> okay, I'll go there. Okay, fractures my brain. <laughs> I'm going to try to tell the air elemental to go through clouds or something if it can, I guess. Sneakily. I'm trying to be. Uh, it asks you why. Because so he told it to be the epsilon. <laughs> I'm just saying, it asks you, uh, you don't want to be seen? No. The air that's whirling around you all thickens, and you disappear. Nice. Perfect. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> this did not happen last time. Nice. You'll be thankful for this. <laughs> what happened last time? Um... Well, we followed Coven's instructions. <laughs> ah, it's a good thing that the crazy man's here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go to the tunnel underneath. You know, it's just water. <sighs> and when we land, or before that, I'm going to have my banner ready just in case, because why not? <laughs> banner ready. Yeah. Okay, you land, and we're going to zoom in here. So, can I close the city map then? Yeah. Okay. Hey, the other map's active. Yep. Hey oh, wow, that's huge. That's what she said. We're going to be on an adventure, guys. Yeah, I'm not building this one. <laughs> Is it because of that? <clears throat> Wait, what if, hey, if if I open up a server, we can build it together? Hey, I don't we see could. anything, guys. I don't have any maps. Uh, Do you know did the you first have that first map? I will reshare it. Thank you. Oh, I'm not used to Beldax's picture yet. Beldax's HP bar is really, really big. Oh, that's just two, common, two HP bars together. Uh, well, I need to get you that map sometime. Absolutely, dude. There, okay. now yours is bigger. <laughs> no, I think no, my HP bar is bigger. bigger. Oh, what the hell, HP bar? Well, got, when you have fewer hit points, you need to compensate. See, it's got some okay. length and some girth to it. So as you 
approach the castle. You guys see basically everything that, that Jaeger saw before, including um, two ogres on top of each of the towers. Uh, let me see. I might be able to give you an idea of what the side view looked like here. Side view of the castle. Side boob. <laughs> side boob of the castle. Yeah, I'm assuming I told everybody about the castle. Let's I see. Do we have any kind of numbers on uh, what we're dealing with and how many there are? Like, just uh, what I told you. Just the two ogres on each tower and a and giant, one, maybe. Yeah, and then exactly. there's wyverns. We didn't do so well against wyverns. Hopefully we can... Oh, we should have got some antidotes from Parnast. Mm -hmm. No, yes, no. I, I know how many there are. There were... Um, this many. <laughs> there okay. were a lot. Uh, let's uh, sync view. That's basically what the castle looks like. I'm covering up the center because it's actually a side diagram. Oh, wow. Um, and That's you landed right there. It's a very <laughs> asshole of the castle. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we're going in the back end. <laughs> How long do my air elemental stick around? Uh, as soon as they land, uh, they dissipate. Wait, before they go, I want to tell them thank you. They were very good. Oh. Uh, they seem pleased. <laughs> smile as hard as air can smile. So, <laughs> as you land, there are walls of blue ice. They're kind of transparent, and you can see that there are various things embedded in the ice all around you. You see coins, helmets, uh, part of a cow, uh, some kobolds. There's even an ogre in one of the walls. There's frozen about about eight feet in. Um, there's frost on the tunnel floors, and it crunches as you step, but it's not slick. Okay. I'm going to have my burnt bit banner out. I do have that. Okay. And my flail. My flail on my other hand. Wait, is that flail <clears throat> decorative? Like... Is it is it covered in any dragon insignia? Like if I look at it, <laughs> I just want to know if, if somebody looks uh, at it. They can no, no, it doesn't have an insignia. Well, no, it's not true. It has actually a dragon's head on the end of the hilt. Nice. Okay, that could be anything. Then actually, I'll keep I'll keep it put down. I'll have the hilt showing though with the banner. Yeah. Okay. We don't, we don't look threatening. Nobody would have their weapons out here, so that's right. Okay. So yeah. So what's the plan? Upward and onwards. Right? Yeah, axe on my shoulder. You seem to be on like a, for lack of a better description, a porch, like a viewing area. Uh, the tunnel goes back farther into the darkness there. Um, and actually, I shouldn't say dark. It's not that dark uh, because because of the way the, it's, it's this is like ice. It really seems to show, uh, a, to let a lot of light in. Reflects um, on itself. Yeah, and so light from outside seems to bounce down the tunnel. You can, you you have normal vision pretty much all the way through. Nice. Um, you can hear uh, wind kind of drifting down the corridor because the castle is actually heading the other direction. So you guys are at the back of the castle's trajectory right now. Um, so it this tunnel that you're in must go through to the other side and let air currents come through because air is drifting through here slowly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd like to go ahead, John. I just like to sneak up and see if I can get a decent view of anything around this bend. Can you guys do me a favor and adjust your uh, watch order? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's on the party sheet. Let me see party sheet. Just, just number your guys in the order you are. Oh, just for taking the watch. Coven should be one. For yeah, watch? Not just for watch order, but it's also your marching order. I'd love to be in the front then. And if you can walk, if you're one by one, you'll be in single file. If you can walk two by two, that's the order you'll be in. If you can walk three by three. Yeah. How do we adjust that? My sheet's yeah. blank. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. when you go to party sheet. Yeah, it's blank. I always use blank tan squares. Party sheet, order. Yeah, it's blank, like un like unrevealed or something. Yeah, I can't drag my, my icon onto the marching No, formation. can you change the numbers? Oh, um, you can change numbers. Okay, then I'll do one. Oh, actually, maybe. I cannot. Every time I hit one, it makes me talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I okay. Then who's number one? Brim. Co Brim. Oh, number two. Come on, Three. Adrian. 
Okay. Um, no. It was you. It was your character. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Four. Jaeger and uh, then Beldak. Beldak. No, okay. you can't have Beldak be in the rear. Okay. Oh, good. But I'll see him coming yesterday. Wow. Uh, you're right. We should have Beldak in front of Jaeger. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, by the way, Brian, any spells this morning? Yeah, 11 of them. No. Did you cast any this morning? I know oh, you're new to Wizard. Yeah, no. cast them tomorrow. No, no. Just the uh, scrolls you used so far. Okay, or mage you armor. didn't cast mage armor or anything? Oh, I have to cast that at the beginning? <laughs> yeah. Damn it. I'm bad at a wizard, guys. I'm sorry. It's okay. You did that yesterday, man. Remember? Oh, he doesn't have it prepared. You haven't even picked all your spells to prepare. I don't even know how to pick the spells in this. Oh, okay. Go to preparation and check the ones that are prepared. You can check 11 of them. Ah, where's the check? I'm going to go ahead and check mage armor, and I'm going to apply mage armor. Unless you don't want mage armor. But How do you it. check a spell? Go to preparation. Yeah. There's a little checkbox on the left. Check oh, all the ones that are Oh, got it. Right. I see it now. And that way when you go to combat, they still appear. Okay. I'm going to cast mage armor for you. I think that's fantastic. Okay. I can use mage That puts your AC to 15. So. Okay. So I've got your marching order. I'm happy. All I needed. Would you require a stealth check from me, <laughs> sir? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What's happening? Uh, Hadrian and Jaeger are sneaking. I don't know. Are we? I am. <clears throat> I was just wanting to be near the front, but if Coven wants to be in the party. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoever is scouting, then yes, I need a stealth check. I will not scout. Okay. Will just so is it check. just Jaeger? Yes. Okay, Jaeger, you... Wait, hold on. I'm going to go with him. Stealth check. Now it's a group stealth check. Okay. That's about how far you scout. You can tell that that way opens up into a large chamber. You can't tell where the other two quarters go. You didn't go far enough down them. Um, however, you, uh, it seems like all these tunnels are leading to a central area. They all seem to slope downward a little bit. Um, the one to the immediate south right here, whoops, that passage doesn't drop... Why can't I let go of that? There we go. That passage doesn't seem to drop quite as quickly. I'm going to uh, update the map view here so you guys can see a little better. There you go. Um, the passage to the south actually seems to stay pretty level. The other two that are to the west and northwest uh, seem to be dropping. Not super steep, but they are dropping down. It seems like you're going down into the belly of the iceberg. Would it be enough to uh, be a weird slide for us? Not at the moment. You don't think so. Um, you're able to move close enough to see that far into the tunnel. That's about how far you scouted. Um, you can tell whatever's there at that, that west entrance, you can tell that that is a yawning cavern. There's something. It is a very large chamber. Do you want to scout further? Uh, guys? Uh, yeah, we should be saying. Uh, the There's whistling of the echo. wind. I think we should move up to where they are now and then have them go forward more if they're going to do that. Okay, tokens are unlocked, so. Yeah, I mean, if we're good up, there, up to that point. Um, I think we should check out the south passage because I, it doesn't it doesn't slope down, if that's the case. Um, can I uh, do a survival to see if dragons are coming and going from here? Ooh. Sure, give me a survival okay. check. Um, With advantage. Yeah, with advantage. That's right. You are a dragon hunter. Um, you move down to, as you're scouting around, you're following some signs. The main problem is there's no way a dragon could fit here. But as you get down here, you realize that that chamber opens up too. And then you realize it's all one chamber. Ooh. And right about then, you look around and you see 
a dragon. Um, there's easy dragon. Uh, there are <laughs> there are. Uh, in fact, you see, uh, just it's a it's an ice cavern, and it's just glittering with jagged walls, and there's icicles that are like like stalactites, and they meet stalagmites on the ground. Um, so they're columns. You can, you can see that this it goes in a ways, and um, there's something not right. It feels like this is a lair, in fact. You don't see all the sign, but this could be a dragon's lair, yes. I guess I'm going to advise If you want to go any further, I'll do a stealth check. I think we should put together. But I don't know yet, so I don't have any yet. <clears throat> right now, I've got Jaeger right there. Okay. You managed to slip in quietly. And you do not appear to be noticed. <laughs> I'm going to do a little more reveal. Ooh. <coughs> Take it to 11. I lied. I'm going to do a lot more reveal. Jesus. Damn. That, that looks a lot like gold. I like gold. Yeah. From where you're at, you now realize it's one gigantic chamber that's got a split level. Um, to the lower level, you manage to get this far in where you realize that is a 30-foot drop-off down to the bottom level. You see... Um, where's my baby at? This is Castle. Oh, man. Where's my baby at? I don't know. Here we go. Go ahead and give you this. Blip. So that was your first bit I read. And blip. I'll let you guys digest that for a little bit. Nice. <clears throat> What's above the treasure? A huge white dragon. Don't they do ice? Yes. That, that would make sense. Yeah, it would. See, guys, the reason I made this guy through the community is because once we all die, I'm going to remake a level one guy <laughs> with everyone else. Name not Die Cut. He's a water paladin. Okay. Man. <clears throat> Clinging to the ceiling of level is? Board is a huge dragon. It looks like it's actually not so much clinging to the ceiling as it's frozen to the ceiling. Okay. Does it look alive or animated in any way? Yes, it's breathing. From from this distance, you can tell it is alive and so, it is currently breathing. So go on, burger, or go burgle something. It's staring at you. <laughs> is it stuck? It looks like it's actually frozen into the ceiling. Yeah, like its feet are. Like it's like it's actually attached itself to the ceiling to sleep in the ice. Oh, so it likes where it's at. Like not a prison, it doesn't like. It does not appear. Yes, you are quite sure. It is not uncomfortable. It is a white dragon. It is <laughs> decided this is a clever place to perch. All right, I'll go back and tell everybody this. No, go on, burglar, <laughs> burgle something. <laughs> what does everybody have to say about that? Uh, um, it needs to die because it's a dirty dragon. <clears throat> I think we should not go south. I think we should go a different direction. Uh, they all, every place ask, leads to that. I'm going to ask Beldak if he has any idea how this thing is flying. This castle. What I mean, how powerful of a magic is it to make this castle fly? Uh, Arcana. I did an Arcana from Beldak. <laughs> okay. What do you tell us? This guy. It was kind of silly to go this way because there's a dragon. <laughs> oh, shit. I rolled that public. Sorry. It's okay. We didn't see that. Screw um, it off, Jason. We didn't oh, see it. There. The, Do whatever. The, the magic it would require is uh, phenomenal. Uh, this would be an artifact. Uh, legendary magic. Um, most likely, this was created by storm giants or maybe cloud giants. Um He's 
heard of this kind of castle. He's never been in one himself, but he's read about it plenty. I've been in this a few times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, which way do we go? Which way do we go tomorrow for yesterday? We're here now. Well, I'll tell you what, what you got. Happened? The main thing you realize right now uh -huh. is you have approximately a week to decide. Okay. What a week to decide? Because <laughs> we're, we're, we're cutting off for the night. It's uh -huh. 7.55. We got a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, man, I have to think about that. Like, Coven would just want to fight the dragon, but he knows he'd have to do a smart so they wouldn't all die. Yeah, I mean, Jason. Dragon. Well, all paths lead to the dragon, so I say we go north to so get closer to him. I mean, we have a pretty you know, simple. I mean, we know that there's no way in hell we're going to be able to take on a dragon, right? Psh, no way, dude. We're all like, we're badasses. I can do yeah, it. Can hear you, Brian, if you're talking. The dragon's on the ceiling, so. We just knock the ceiling down. Uh. <laughs> well, our I'm options are to find it or, or try and sneak as a party. Well, right now we're done anyway, so. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, also that chick at the uh, hunting lodge was said to worship white dragons, right? Oh, yeah. Couldn't we just unfurl our banner and shout, and shout its praise, say the password, and walk on by? Yeah. Whatever we do, Nick, you will not be talking. <laughs> <laughs> I already told him if he sees the kitchen, don't talk to the staff. It's just awkward. No, I can totally do this. I can totally do this. I say we tell it we represent that chick and then tell yeah. him what her wishes were. I don't remember what her dragon, wishes. Um, she represents the dragon. <laughs> I don't remember what her wishes were. Uh, she wanted us to stop the Dragon Queen from being summoned. Stop Tiamat well, from she, entering the world. Uh, she wanted us to disgrace one of her rivals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In order to... So you think we should go right on up in there. Didn't we? Did we just kill him? No. Oh, it was Gaston. Wasn't that his name? No, I, I actually didn't take any notes. Gaston uh, is so and so the white. No, it was Talos. No, that was Talos the white. Yes, yeah, Talos was. the white. Yeah. But the person she wanted us to disgrace was Gaston, wasn't it? No, Verum. Verum. It was a dwarf. V a r r a m. He's the white dragon speaker. Ah. Or worm speaker. Yeah. She wanted us to uh, embarrass him to the point where the cult would have to kill him. That's possible. Oh, if, if we uh, if we drill a hole under the treasure, it'll just like fall out of the bottom of the castle. Yeah, I'm good with that, actually. <laughs> there might be stairs in the other passageway. Ooh. Or the one in the south. All right, folks. Hey, thanks for hosting. I'm glad we're back. Nice to meet you, Beldak. Yeah. All right. And I'll thanks, see you guys. All week. Thanks for yep. All right. We'll, we'll see you guys. I'll see you guys yesterday. See, it turns out it wasn't <laughs> yesterday. It was next week. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.